and up with the body again. So I have an idea. Um, obviously I've got the body mounted along the sills. Um, it's very close at the top of the A-pillar and on the arch and it's really nice tight fit on the B-pillar. So that kind of constrains it well. Um, so how I left off <clears throat> with the rear arches, the body was pretty much sitting on them and they're kind of a bit of a crumpled mess after I uh, chopped the top off and sort of beat them down a bit. So what I did was take the laser, obviously with the body on, I marked a, you know, about an inch down. So that's sort of a, it's a slightly angled plane from the horizontal. And then this sheet, I'm gonna form bond and rivet onto the top. So I've got a nice flat surface. And my idea, um, obviously it's quite tight to get in there and to measure or do whatever. <coughs> so what I'm gonna do is fit these, well, finish those off. And again, with the, I'll do this over there as well. I'll cover this in cling film um, or saran wrap, I think you call it in the States or other countries. Um, drop the body down into place, squirt some expanding foam onto the top and then that will stick onto the underside of the body in the key areas. But what it, once that's dried, obviously the body will lift off because it's not going to stick to the cling film. And then I'll have these sort of seam positions and I'll just be able to slice the foam off and I'll use it as an in-place form and fiberglass on some sort of vertical walls and then I'll wrap it slightly offset from obviously the bottom so i'll end up with a horizontal mounting face so it'll literally just sit on the body and it'll obviously be sculpted to the exact shape um and then i can either put a foam gasket or a bit of sealant when the body drops down finally but it'll help locate it really nicely and then underneath the doors up here sort of between there and up to the original A pillar. Um, I'll have either a seam or the same again, vertical, down to this bar. And then these lower ones are gonna have to be removable because I need to be able to access the, the back for these, well, not for the bolts, but for the uh, thick sort of trim piece, which has nuts, well, captive sort of bolts within the trim that go through here and then I need to be able to fasten them on the back. So that's a bit of a pain, but it should do the job. And also I've decided to uh, extend the steering column a little bit. Um, it's okay, but as you can see with this big drop, just putting it a little bit further back, as I've slotted these holes, I can probably get another inch further back which will probably make a big difference to how high the steering wheel can lift up. So I'm probably going to be using the easy entry profile, um, which obviously when you're getting in and out of the car will lift the steering wheel nicely out of the way. So yeah. So a bit of body work, a bit of a, a change anyway, even though it won't be seen, but still panel beating. Something else I've been playing with on the side as well. So this is the original um, windscreen demist, obviously with a Tesla screen is way over there. Um, so you can see that bit of a curve. So this is going to be bonded on there and kick back and fire back and then go underneath here and up to the windscreen vents. Um, the wiring is a bit in the way, that's not a big deal. Um, I do have to re-angle those because you can see it's, it's a bit off actually landing properly. I was a bit impatient just to print something to start with. Um, but I think that should do quite a nice job. But yeah, I need to do the windscreen wiper mechanism as well because that is going to be around this sort of area. 
so I want to know where the um, the pipes can go and I'm also going to 3d print the uh, the plenums for the the windscreen demist probably 3d print them and then skin them in some thin fiberglass just to help um, to keep their form with uh, heat might do the same with that as well but again just playing still but it always helps to have things in um, 3d to mock things up figure out what you've missed okay that's those cover plates in place and riveted and drying so i think next i'll uh, take the column off and extend it that little bit so out of curiosity i tried the uh the interior roof liner in position fairly close but it's going to need some chopping around i don't think it's um quite big enough to go around the, the bars It's, it's straining that a little bit and I'll will I have I, I may well have wiring going up there but it does look like I'll have a decent amount of space in here for antenna various modules to hide away okay so I've capped this bit off as well um, I think what I'm going to do is um, create a sort of a a join line or a ceiling bulkhead or not bulkhead but you know yeah it is bulkhead between this flange and over here so I'll end up with actually it'll be in the body so it'll come down land on here and seal against that and then at the back I'll have a flat sheet well and then these bits as well obviously either side of the uh, the door opening areas and then at the front come up here straight forwards and then up to here i mean the body the bonnet line is in here so if i kind of maybe a bit ahead of it so i'll just go forwards like that and back i think that's going to be the uh, best way to seal the body well yeah seal the body from the elements of the internal all right that's all the landing areas uh, wrapped up drop the body and squirt some foam in that's the foam squirted in for it was quite easy but i might wait for it to dry and then finish up doing that sort of sliver behind the door i did try but it um started falling down in balls so I've, I've done as much as I can. But fingers crossed, I'll leave this for a little while to go off and see how it goes. Yeah, I had to get the lift up just to try and get some decent amount of foam up there in that cavity because it's quite fiddly. And the uh, foam canister has to be upside down. Yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, just some little jobs, putting some um, travel limit adjusting bar on the passenger seat because it gets a bit close to the pyro assembly for comfort for me there. So rather than having to rely on telling people not to um, adjust the seat, that's a, a bit more of a permanent way of stopping it. So once it's in, I'm pretty sure I left it on the rearmost position that I was happy with. So, but there you go, I can adjust that anyway. Just mainly just these nuts welded onto the rear mounts, and then I can slide these uh, nuts up and down. If this bar isn't strong enough, I'll just put a bit of angle in or something. So, body lifted up. That's the kind of definition I've got. Um, we'll see how usable it is. So, so you came off nice and clean from the car.
I don't know whether this will come out, but you've got this sort of form here, which is in here, in there. We'll see. Okay, so now I've, I've marked out where I want the uh, flange to come down, so it's going to come vertical down and then out. So I'm just finding some scrap around just to make something to lay up the fiberglass onto, and I'll tape it all up. Um, you see up here, I've cut down that same line. So I've got a profile of how high I need it. And I've done that on all the corners. There as well, which translates to along here and over here. And I'm gonna pick up on this seam. Um, I'll probably do this one just vertical. And then once I figure out how I'm gonna do the rest of the body. Um, yeah, not sure, because I might need to leave some space for a, uh, a wall. I can always cut it off later. There we go. Um, and then obviously, yeah, uh, some flat sheet in all the, the flange sort of areas will be nice and easy. Obviously, I'll have to put some flanges on here. Well, I'll probably glass in some vertical bits, but actually thinking about it, I've kind of got the start of the uh, that plane. Going down there, because that is in line with the flange. Right, let's see how messy I can make things. Right, here's some scrap bits, just to make up a former of a very disposable former. And um, there you go, so that'll be a nice little profile. I'll make these oversize and then I'll offer them up into place and trim and then sort of, I don't know whether I'll get some fiberglass paste or something, just to tack them in position before I take the foam out and then finish it off. Um, yeah, ready for a bit of a fiberglass session. There, I think I'll call it there for the weekend. So that's a two and a bit layers of 450 gram, um, CSM. So once those have gone off, you can see I've sort of roughly marked out what they're going to be. So they'll pull off. I'll tweak them until they, they match and are flush with the bottom of the remaining foam. Um, and then, I don't know, depending on how well they, they match, I might bond them in place like that. Or I might just leave them, well, put them back on the body in place, put a few little bits of, um, sort of mix up a paste, drop the body down, let it all glue up exactly, and then lift it again, clean all the foam out, and then glass it back in from um, the inside. But for that, I'm going to have to connect all the electrics up and move the car out of the way. I might bond these in as well. I'm sure there'll be many, many more opportunities to do more fiberglassing, so I'm not in a panic and this tends to sort of catch on the arches as it goes up and down. So I'd rather not. But, yeah, I just had a visit from Mr. Taylor from Ratchet Rebuilds, which was good. Um, gave him his windscreen back, a few other bits. But yeah, this feels like we're sort of getting to the point where the, the body will be properly mounted. I've still got some steel mounts I want to come off here to support the body. I'll probably go off the um, roll cage up to about the distance of the end of these shotguns. Um, and then similarly for the front, I'll probably come off the uh, near the strut tops around here, up to here and then down and I'll bolt in some unused, or well, now unused fixing points down at the front and then carry on working out how I'm going to package everything in this sort of region because the demist fence, the windscreen wiper, the dash fence, there's, there's lots of stuff I need to do that will be a lot easier to do now while things are out of the way, or while, the, while the body's off. Oh, I also um, 
redid the front mounts properly. Previously, I'd just drilled and tapped the tube as it was in place because I hadn't actually um, welded it fully in. But now, um, because they're on the original um, plates with nuts that slide inside the tube, I drilled out the little plug welds that are holding in place, slid them over, and re -weld, and yeah, obviously welded up all the old holes. So it keeps it nice and neat. But yeah, plenty of wiring. And yeah, you can see some of this wiring that I've been detangling to, to try and gain some length various places. I think the, the rear speakers I'll have to extend and then I'll have to start working out this lot. Um, some of the, the door catch will live in the body, door handle will be in the door, the B pillar camera will be in the door. So a lot of the, the wiring needs reconfiguring, so it'll be a case of unraveling things. I don't really want to extend the wiring. Um, if I can unravel and reroute, obviously it's going to be much neater. There you go, that's it for this week.